Good evening, all my dirty water donkey chasers. What's yes, up, guys? So How are you doing today? I got the hammer with me. We went fishing today, but zero luck. But anyway, so good evening, good morning, whatever it is, wherever you're at in the world. I love every single one of you. Mwah, mwah. We love you, and we thank you for watching the channel. Today, we have a pretty interesting video. Um, I've been watching this guy for a couple weeks now, and... Oh, God. I'm sorry, guys. It's so hot in here. Um, his name is... Well, I guess this is like a man versus food thing, but he is pretty sweet, pretty awesome. Um, and we're just going to get right to the review. Uh, deathly, deathly spicy natural hot chicken challenge, Charlotte, North North Carolina. Now he goes all over. It's just like man versus food from back in the day, guys. Um, he definitely he goes all over and uh, wins challenges. Wins actually wins money. Um, you know does he does quite a bit, but his challenges are awesome. Um, he even has friends tag along. And meet and greets at each place he goes to he has meet and greets with the actual people um, this is gonna be Sparky's first time um, watching this guy with me and he's gonna tell you guys his opinion on him uh, and I'm gonna tell you guys my opinion but excuse me he is a beast guys <laughs> I don't know how he does some of these challenges but for the next week you're gonna get some reviews on him because there's a bunch of them I want to show you um, and I would like to watch them together with you and I also have a fishing video we're gonna edit it tomorrow I believe and there, we didn't catch any fish but it's fun it, it was it was a nice adventure um, and uh, I had a fun cold. time helping out below, so. yeah you'll see the video it was cold but here we go and his name is Joel Hansen. Okay. And here we go. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel, Uncle Lou's Fish and TV. Um, very, very large pieces, all those very, very delicious guys. We were talking ham bread, we were talking being dredged in delicious, gushy, like, you know, sauces. Actually, in fact, this house rendered duck fat in the dredge, and then, of course, your uh, favorite kind of dry seasoning from the natural component. Barbecue itself, they smoke everything here, which is really awesome. Uh, there's a half rack ribs in the chown, and we have three pints of their size, just three pints of their size. Definitely a lot of food, we are going to have three minutes to complete it, and, uh, and that's not about that. So let's kind of let's have some more more details here. Um, I believe the meal has about a $65 value, something like that, uh, maybe $70, and if we eat it, we're going to free. So let's have a little bit of food. Let's go. It goes beautiful with all the food, definitely looks very, very delicious, lots of it. So we have a side of beans, I then have a pint of their coleslaw, we have a pint of their cucumber salad, which is really, really good. Apparently it is a great way to help kind of dull some of the heat coming from this uh, chicken. We then have what is a half rack of ribs, which look very, very delicious. And then the giant, uh, the giant, 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 and spicy pieces of the freaking Nashville hot fries. So we have the whole chicken here. Um, we do go with the hot, so it is- I love Nashville hot, hot, the Nashville hot from KFC. So I really do really love it. I think I'm thinning, guys. Uh, yep, right, I'm so thinning. Five, four, three, two, one, let's eat. Ooh. 
Wait a minute, did they did they say those had Nashville hat on them too? It doesn't look like it. Pretty sure he just said that they're hot. Hey everyone, welcome to Zeus. Today we're here at Kinfolk. This Kinfolk is doing an absolutely giant Nashville hot chicken challenge. So first, before we even talk about the food, let's talk about getting to the restaurant. So the restaurant itself is located a little bit outside of Charleston, kind of a little all classified, a little bit like out towards the country, um, out in this area. And there's a lot of golfing and that kind of stuff. But I will say, it was an amazing drive. Getting out here was such a beautiful drive. It was a beautiful place. Um, Charleston, if you've never been, is a great, great, great city. And getting out to Kim here was actually a super pleasant experience. Like I said, great drive, really enjoyed it. And now uh, we'll talk about the food because not only was it an enjoyable trip there, getting here was also super, super awesome. So for this challenge, essentially we had 30 minutes to eat was a whole Nashville hot chicken, half rack ribs, and three giant, giant, giant sides. Did I say they were giant? When it came to the actual uh, barbecue, the ribs themselves, again, they did smoke all their meats there. The gentleman definitely had great culinary backgrounds, so really, really great culinary backgrounds, and it came through on the food. Ribs were absolutely deliciously flavored. They were soft, tender, still a texture, just a little bit of sauce on them, giving you that sticky, that sweet, that smoky. It looked uh, good. Honestly, awesome. Really, really, really fantastic barbecue. Those are fantastic, guys. Very, very much enjoy them. They really, really good. Now, let's that. There's a few pieces of bread here as well. Bread is not required. But, um, how's the pickle? Dang. Now let's get some of this fried chicken. This is where it's going to be interesting. These are giant, though. Absolutely, absolutely huge. And very well- There is a lot of seasoning on those. If that's official Nashville hot, that's hot. And now let's start talking about the chicken. So the chicken itself, I will say, has a crazy, crazy, amazing, crispy, crunchy bread and crust on it. Like, when it comes to just a good piece of fried chicken, like even just, you know, without the natural additions, it was amazing how crispy, crunchy, um, and like substantial the breading was. Well, oh, look at that juice dripping from the chicken. Uh, it was super impressive. That's pretty amazing. That was cooked well. You can tell the, the, the breading and the the crispiness really held all that juice and oil in. Ah. Uncle, you know what I drink that I like with my spicy stuff is sweet tea. Even with Nashville hot chicken, which the whole thing behind Nashville hot chicken is because you are um, essentially wetting the chicken in oil, right? And it's fried in oil, oil and oil, it doesn't soften the breading. It's supposed to make it really crispy, and then you know, generally they put these seasonings on top. Um, and I will say from you know, that getting the crispy Nashville hot chicken, that's what Nashville hot chicken is going for. So an oil dredged or oil soaked chicken seasoned with um, kind of a, you know, paprika, cayenne, and you know other hot peppers. You know uh, people such as here, you get a crazy hot chicken here, um, including like Carolina Reaper, ghost peppers. Like the options are endless. And the chicken here was the hot version, and it was hot, hot, hot. I found it definitely, definitely quite spicy. Um, I, 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 it wasn't like the highest level with the Reapers in it. Um, but man, this, whatever they had in here was absolutely very, very hot. Now, like I said, back to the extra chicken. I have never had such a now, like Nashville hot chicken with no. such a um, crust. That you now, the Nashville hot, it's not a... It's not a long... It's not a long heat. It's a short, short heat, if any of you ever had it before. Maybe like a 5 to 10 minute heat, and that's it. But it's instant. It's instantaneous. It's not like uh, certain peppers that have a little bit of 
when you've had when I gave you natural hot, did you get like you got it instant, right? Well, I got it like a minute after I ate it, but I I got it on my lips, but I didn't even feel anything on my lips. It but it started coming like almost five minutes after um the it started coming in my mouth. So, like, they come at different times for me, but it's, well, it's sometimes it's different for other people. Well, but natural hot is made for to be an instant heat, not a, not a um, savory. You know, like uh, it doesn't it hits you instant. It doesn't it doesn't delay. Like, with the oil judging, remains so crispy. So crunchy again. Oh, man. That chicken breast is so juicy. I'm so super impressed that they definitely have the recipes down in the regard of actually, you know, creating the chicken. Because they're so good cooking the chicken and maintaining its quality and maintaining that really, you know, crispy crunch you want from a fried chicken sandwich. Yeah, that got to be... Uh, the, the chicken itself was really juicy, it was definitely moist, like I said, uh, uh, the culinary skills of the individuals here were super, super, super impressive. Um, and then we did have a number of sides. Um, now, of course, while we're not at the sides yet, the gentlemen were telling me that there's definitely kind of some Asian flair and cuisine in some of them, um, such as they had some Asian flavors in the uh, coleslaw, which I thought was really interesting, or at least it sounded really interesting. Um, you know, and, and, and in some of the other items as well, like one of the chicken sandwiches, again, same thing, kind of the Asian cuisine, Asian flair. And this was just like part of their gentleman's uh, interest. And like I said, the gentleman definitely had some really uh, diverse culinary background. Um, again, 30 minutes to complete all this food. I definitely knew it was going to be a difficult one. Uh, I did eat earlier in the day, so I was not, uh, not like, you know, this was my first time eating in the day, so hence I had some food in me. Um, I knew it was going to make it more difficult, but I don't think I anticipated how spicy this chicken was going to be. I definitely found this chicken very, very spicy. Uh, it's like, you know, and, and that's basically it. It was absolutely delicious. The taste was tasting great, but once I got into the chicken, I knew how spicy this was, and this was definitely going to be a battle. <laughs> Come on, oh, you. He's tackled way harder. I did some options uh, for the sides. I just, just kind of went with my preference in the bean again, the coleslaw, the bean, and that lovely uh, cucumber salad there. You know, trying to get some health, trying to get some freshness, all about those veggies. Um, I like when he does it with his buddy. Oh, when he has like uh, some of his fans come to the place. Now he said it's dilly, so I'm assuming there's some kind of dill. I looked at it, I hope it would be a... I hope it would burn in my mouth. It would burn all around my mouth. I don't think I'm going to bathe myself in the uh, salad, but maybe I will in a little minute. Ooh! It's <laughs> time to smell the chicken. That's because that chicken was so juicy. It really did it. What happens? Hopefully, we can complete this battle. Hopefully, we can win the battle. And let me know down below. He gets, it looks like he gets the same thing I get around my mouth because I eat a lot of hot foods. You know, like, what's your spice up? Or maybe you're one of those people that likes really, really, really extremely, extremely hot. Like I said, let me down the comments down below and let's get to What about you guys? What do you guys like? Um, how do you guys like your heat? Do you like it very, very, very spicy or just a mild spice? Um, 
let me know in the comments below. Like he just said for his subscribers, he's got millions of subscribers. He doesn't need any comments anymore. <laughs> or you can go comment on his. Or we thank him for the video. But um, let's stalk the chicken. The chicken is extremely juicy, as you guys can see. You can see the juice just dripping from it. Uh, cooked very well. Um, I'm looking at it, and you definitely don't see any kind of redness near the bone, which is a sign that the chicken was not cooked all the way. Um, and when you can see the blood, um, it looks good. It looks like it was cooked really well. But, all right, back to the video. See that Nashville's instant hot. It shouldn't last long after he stops eating it. But they buried it in Nashville hot. I mean, but you can see it. It's, it almost looks like uh, the covering of a uh, pocky chip. Yeah, pocky chip challenge. It's he better try and <laughs> wrap it around his mouth a little bit. Ooh. He's 12 minutes and 54 seconds in. Usually he's saying the time and everything. That heat must be really really getting to him and there's usually not this much fast forwarding and stuff like that the heat definitely has him on this video This is your first time hit watching him with me, right? Three. One down, two to go. Oh man, trying to take a break from that chicken. Like I said, it's very, very spicy. Ah. Maybe try to finish it. Ooh. Good thing the bread's not mandatory because those are those are some that big pieces of bread. Because look at the size of that chicken breast. Almost the size of the bread. Probably homemade bread. Or somewhere from around, like around there. Yeah, he's usually extremely talkative. He's definitely feeling it. He's usually extremely talkative. I'm not asking to say this test you can provide. Ooh, it's spicy. We're making our way through. Slow motion. Honestly, it's cooked very well. Very juicy. It's a crispy crust on that. It's like fantastic. It's just deep. Mm. <laughs> oh, I feel them. The guys in the kitchen are like, got him. Alright, finish the chicken. Yes, I cleaned up. Just like bone. Don't touch your nose, dude. That's done. That's shit on the side. Woo! 20 minutes, 20 seconds. He's only got 30 minutes to complete this challenge. So he has like 10 more minutes for this. I think he should do it. I think he could do it. I think he can do it. 
Wait till you see the, um, the video of the 72 ounce steak. Ribeye, I mean not ribeye, prime rib. It's, uh, 80, I think it was 72 or 84 ounces, one of them. Coleslaw looks, I don't know. It has, uh, it, it, and it's coleslaw, but it look, has like a, a tint to it, almost. Oh, he did say it was, he did say it was Asian influence, right? <laughs> look at the lady with her dog. <laughs> yep, let's rub the dog and get the hair all over everybody's food. I don't give a kisses. Puppies giving kisses. That's not the whole goal. Wow, that spice is really kicking his ass that long. Hmm. Interesting. He better drink those beans. Four minutes. Dude, you only got four minutes, brother. Three minutes, come on. Dude, you got it. Oh man, they look thick though. It's because it has ribs in it too. Man, his toilet must be. Beans are really good. They're really nice, interesting flavors. It's like Szechuan. It's got some really interesting pairings. Ooh. Oh, he's watching the time. He's playing. Let's go, let's go. Come on, don't do this to me, dude. Hurry up. Alright. Done deal. Oh, that weird We really heard that just bit, guys. Woo. That chicken has some heat, but it looks like super, super impressive. When it comes to hot chicken, I have never had a hot chicken with such a crisp, with such a kind of thick, substantial, and delicious batter. Like, you know, that's what the Nashville Hot is for. It's why they dredge it kind of in an oil, a uh, fat base, with oil, and the you know, Australian oil, and the oil sauce. Hmm. It's supposed to help the chicken, you know, being really crispy. And man, it, this, like I said, I've never had a crispy, cr like crunchy, uh, beautiful fried piece of chicken like that with for Nashville Hot at all so definitely definitely go try their natural hot chicken definitely very very good it was very it was, for me it was very spicy and they had like other levels above them called hellraiser which is carolina reapers this one didn't have carolina reapers in it but it was hot <laughs> hot flavor oh very man um, but that guys that's about it it has some cool uh, really unique flavors and the beans kind of like had a bit of a session almost like a cheese tray in them the, uh, so there, the ginger, definitely Asian, yeah, definitely Asian influence with the ginger. Very unique combination of kind of you know, call them southern traditional homegrown foods with kind of you know, more like higher end eclectic Asian international kind of flavors. So you get a food's pretty cool, but yeah, that was that was tough. That was tough. This took the whole time, and man, I am burning. And burning still. So, I hope you enjoyed today's video. I hope you get some ice cream cool down a little bit. Um, but that guy's for us next time. Have a good hungry, happy eating. Good job, buddy. Good job. You always need something spicy with your life. Well, that's good for me. So, until next time, everybody, have a good day. Later. <laughs>
Oh, guys, all right. So, let's talk about a few things here. Well, he sounded like a kid when he said, let's go get some ice cream. <sighs> well, he definitely needed it after that. Like, I know I would have. Mm -hmm. Natural hot, all that. That was a lot of natural hot. And it was like four different breasts. Four different chicken breasts. No, no, it's not chicken breast. It's a whole chicken. Yeah. You got one breast on one side, one breast on the other, and then the thigh and the leg, and the thigh and the leg. You know, and it's just a whole chicken. It's not not uh, two, uh, not four chicken breasts. But anyway, um, a whole chicken. When they cut up a whole chicken, it's like this. Uh, let's see. For instance, what can we use as a diagram here? Okay, so I got. All right, let's say you got. Let's say this is a whole chicken right here, right? Whoosh. Here's one leg and a thigh. One leg and a thigh. And back here, you cut the chicken wing off. Put those to the side, and then you got the two chicken breasts, and then the you know the butt meat and all that good stuff. But yeah, that's it. Um, but yeah, I I wasn't too. I didn't watch that one, and that's and that's why I chose it. But I thought he was going to be more talkative. But I see that the. Nashville Hot really got to him on this one. And this video, he was not talkative at all. Um, we'll review another one of his videos, though. And I don't know if it's going to be one I've seen or, or already. I, I've only seen one, two, three, probably six of his six or seven of his videos so far. Um, so, but there's a couple of them that I really want to watch with you guys. And I really want to talk to you guys about. So, it'll be pretty cool. So, overall, what did you, uh, what did you think about it? I mean, he obviously likes spicy food, but I think that one was a challenge for him. Because he wasn't really talking a lot, so that definitely tells either he was, like, really, really focused and wanted to get that challenge done. Or it was just really, really spicy and it was killing him. Yeah. Uh, it was, from the videos I watched of him, from what I see is he was extremely, like, uncomfortable. Because like I said, he's usually talking, like, he usually can't shut up, honestly. This is the first time I've ever watched him. And also, if you wa if you have watched his videos before, I want you guys to drop his favorite word for each video in the comments, okay? Go back and watch a couple of his videos if you'd like, or wait for us to watch them together, and we'll go through his favorite word together. Alright, well, guys, I really, really appreciate you guys tuning in and watching the video. I don't care if five of you watch it. At least we watch it together. I love every single one of you. Take them out. Hope you have a good day and stay safe, guys. Bye. And who are you? Hey, you forgot. Dirty Water Donkey Chasers. And only? And only ours. Nobody else's.